It's Franco here, and I'm back with another Clash of Clans video today. Uh, and today I wanted to go over our war that we're going on, that's going on right now, actually. Um, and it's against this clan, I don't even know, I, I didn't even pronounce that word in my head, but, uh, Cyber, I don't know, uh, whatever. Um, and they are actually on a 24 win streak, so they're not a bad clan, and obviously they're one of those people that either take it super seriously or just have no clue what they're doing, and idiots, and they hide their war log, so whatever, for whatever reason, um, but we have our Warlog public, and this is what it looks like right now. And I figured I would show it off in a video, um, because we're on a current war streak of 13. And this is what a war streak of 13 looks like. If you don't know, uh, it is a lot of green in the clan or league log. And then we have one loss, and then I don't even know how many wins. I think I counted it the other day. I think it was like 29. Let's see again. So three, how many can you fit on this scroll? It's three, six... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, plus our current war streak of 13. So yeah, we're, we won 29, and this will be our 30th win, or we will have gone 30 and 1. Out of 31 matches, we won 30 and lost 1, which is kind of cool. I mean, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how strong our clan is and everything. Um, and I figured I'd show off our number one replay. I mean, why not? Like, uh, this guy's been dominating our clan and also this guy, this lunat lunatics, I guess, um, he's just, as soon as preparation day comes, he donates to all the clan castles right away. And I log on, and usually that's what I would do. I'd be like, oh, now I gotta train all my troops, and um, it kinda like solves up what I'm doing for Legends League and stuff, cause I, like, you gotta do all eight attacks a day, which isn't too many, but like, I have to clear my camps, or like, I have to do that. And usually, like, when you donate for a 40v40 war, like what we do, oh my god, this is kind of scary with the healers almost went to that super barbarian. I didn't watch this attack, um, before. But, uh, with a 40v40, that's 50 housing space each. 40 times 50, I don't even know, that's like, 2,000? <laughs> what? Wait, is my math right? Yeah, 40 times 10 is 400 times 5. Yeah, that's 2,000. And army camps only hold 320. So, I had to train... A lot of army camps, so that's about, um, wait, so 320 times, like, uh, eight, maybe, or seven? Yeah, so, like, six, yeah, so six army camps worth of troops, sorry, math is kind of hard when you're recording a video. Um, so I'm training six army camps worth of troops, which is kind of a lot, and I don't have the gold pass, so I can't gem donate, and I don't want to waste gems anyway. Uh, but this guy luckily logs on and donates to all of them instantly. I don't know what he does, but I love it, and I'm not going to complain. And I just log on, and I just train two ice golems, three headhunters, and two archers, and that's all I got to do for every war. So this guy really is our MVP. Uh, maybe I'll promote him or whatever. But, um, yeah, so he goes in with the Warden Walk, and I think he had the Fireball. I actually wasn't paying attention. Yeah, so he wipes out a compart with the Fireball. And I think this is, like, one of the most consistent strategies. I know him and this other guy Charizard in our clan. I think they're number one, number two run it pretty consistently, and this guy triples, like, very significantly, like, um, or a significant amount of the time. Um, I think, I, I don't even know if I've ever seen him fail. Maybe he's failed, like, a couple, but, like, not very much. Stars that guy does fail pretty commonly, so he, he did fail the number two. When I say commonly, like, these are the two best players in our clan. Like, they're not failing a lot. I fail significantly more. Um, but I think he failed on number two, and uh, we need to basically perfect war this clan back or else um we're gonna lose our streak because they're on the streak of 24 and i don't think they got that by magic i think they are actually very skilled they probably have a, a lot of perfect wars but it is kind of like it is i got, do gotta give it to them it is a good strategic move to hide the clan war league log because or clan war log i added an, an extra lead there um because then i don't really know like i don't know if they are gonna perfect war every war like i, I really don't have much of a grasp to see how much we have to bring our a game for this clan Hey, but luckily we started off our number one against their number one and got a three star there. And we do have several three stars all across the board. We actually had some new guy join our clan. This guy, uh, King of CTG, and then I Zaherd or whatever, and I Zaherd number two. I think they're all the same person. And they logged on and they left the clan. And I logged on and I was like, ah, oh, like I'm so upset. Like this dude left the clan. I put three of his accounts in war. And then I saw that he actually provided us three three stars. So. 
Um, he actually ended up holding his own. I know he got five star wars on all of his accounts, but hey, if you get one three star per account, you're actually just holding your weight, and that's all I can ask for, really. So uh, I was pretty happy that he did his tax, then left. Like he gave him an invite back, but uh, we are actually pretty low on members. We're only at 44 because I've just been kicking people. People have been so inactive. Like so many people keep missing two wars in a row, which I think is. Uh, a reason to get kicked honestly i mean that just shows that you haven't really logged on in like four days like you've logged on but you haven't really given much thought to like clan war or anything like you're, you're not that active in my mind um that's kind of my kicking criteria and also i think i kick out like really weak people like town hall 13s and 12s that just like don't do raid weekend uh, but if you're watching this video and you want to join our clan and you're a Town Hall 15 or 16, I loaded down Town Hall 15 because I was like, hey, we can just use more Town Hall 15s for Clan War Leagues. Um, we're trying to hopefully get promoted for Masters, Masters 3 in Clan War Leagues, um, but we will see what happens. I mean, as time goes on, everybody else is going to get stronger too, so realistically, we might be chilling in Masters 3 for a little while and not get promoted. We got second last season and everything, so... Oh, that was a really bad fireball. I, I see why this attack failed. And that's the thing. Like I said, fireball's consistent, but um, if you just find a Tesla over there, then it's going to screw up the entire thing, which he might have just like not been paying attention or not registered that the Tesla's a defense, which is actually kind of funny. Um, and I was watching this attack live like near the end, and I was like, damn, he's about to fail. So he like time failed at 94%, uh, which is kind of disappointing. But uh, I think we have tons of firepower up through the ranks of um, our clan to go get up against this clan. So I know we had one triple, and like I said, that guy that left provided all, like, he provided one three star per account, which is kind of a lot to ask for, and I think he attacked up for a lot of them. So we do have a lot of leeway, and in Clan Wars, like, you have so much leeway, because you have two attacks per person, like, like half the clan could not get a single three star, and, you're, and you could still get a perfect four, which is kind of wild. Um, but realistically, like, I know this is a clan with 24 win streak, but I don't think we're going to beat them. I think we're just going to have another tie. That's usually just how wars go against massive behemoth of clans like this with their super long war win streak. Um, and I think our longest war win streak, I made a video about it a little while ago, was like 17 or something. So we are actually getting kind of close to it again. I kind of, well, I guess I just counted it out before. So I think it was 14. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is the time fail here. And uh, hey, time flies, and I guess I haven't made a video in a little while, but I guess we're almost at our uh, War Win Streak record again, which is kind of cool. Um, but I did want to talk about one more thing. I did want to talk about this Apprentice Builder, um, or Builder's Apprentice, and if you should buy it or not, kind of like give a little bit of my opinion on it. And um, I think he is uh like worth it in the long term like if you think about it like how could he not be worth it as a free-to-play player if you just do the math and you think of how much um how much building he provides so say you get him to level eight he provides eight hours of work per day um and you calculate how much gems cost to speed up a building so like to speed up the barbarian king for let's just say uh let's try to get an even number one whatever seven days is a thousand gems to upgrade the Builder's Apprentice to max level, I did that on my second account here, which I can show, actually. Um, to get it to... Oh, no, I, I didn't get it on this account, because uh, if I show you, you actually can max it out at level 7 for Town Hall 13, so I have to be Town Hall 14. But on my other account, Franco 3, I actually did max it out. I had 6,500 gems exactly, and I have 28 remaining. So I did actually end up maxing out the Builder's Apprentice on this account. Um, so it costs 6,500 gems, and if you think about it, 6,500 gems, like I just showed on my main account, uh, a 7-day upgrade is 1,000 gems. So... That's seven times six. Oh my God, so much math this video. I'm struggling so much. So that's 42 days worth of building is how much the apprentice builder costs for max level. And that might seem a little bit extreme. So 42 days worth of building um, worth of gems. Sorry, 42 days worth of building worth of gems is how expensive the apprentice builder is. And he only gets eight hours per day. So if he only gets eight hours per day, that means it's going to take, um, well, it's going to, you're going to have to get 42 days worth of building. So that's 42 times three. So that's just whatever, 126. Um, so you're going to have to use the apprentice builder at max level for 126 days. That's off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure that's right. Based off what I said, you're going to have to use him at, 
126 days for him to break even in value. So if you're hesitant about your long-termness in Clash of Clans, or if you don't log on every day, maybe he's not worth it. Honestly, like, I, I don't really know, but if you're going to be playing Clash of Clans for more than 126 days, which... Not gonna lie, I think everybody who plays Clash of Clans probably plays for more than 126 days because... Oh, this is a shit attack. I don't want to show that one, actually. Um, Because... I want to show a good one. Oh, my replay's cleared because of the new update. Whatever. Um, But, like, how Clash of Clans works is, like, you don't just log on and start playing at Town Hall, like, 5 or 6 and then just, like, stop. Like, no, the whole point is that you're ambitious and everybody wants to gain to be that guy who they see in their attacks or in their clan that has a really cool base and everything. So realistically, the whole point of this game is just to play the long-term game. So I don't really see a case where you wouldn't really buy the Apprentice Builder. I know that I said that person who's super inactive or something, but even if you're super inactive and you pop it once, like a, every like five days, like or say once every three days, it'll take like a year before he pays off. And if you're playing like that super long-term game, I think it's worth it. And I bought it at my second account as maxed out as I could, and on my other accounts, it's just that. I know a lot of people are struggling with gems, and I, myself included, so I actually don't have enough gems to upgrade it past level 2. So, you can imagine the return on investment. I didn't do the calculation, and I don't want to do any more math during this video, um, of how weak it is at level 2. So, I mean, it's just going to be, well, it only costs 1,000 gems, so it would, oh, it only takes 7 days worth. I don't know, maybe the value is a little bit better or whatever, but ultimately, like, then once you pass that threshold where he breaks even, if you have him at the eight times boost, he is going to provide you so much more value. And obviously, I'm going to be playing Clash of Clans for 126 more days, so uh, it's not really—it's kind of a no-brainer in my mind. But like I said, like it's going to take a little bit till I can get 6,500 gems. Or right now, because I have him level two, it's going to be 5,500 gems. It's going to cost 500 gems to buy him, 500 gems to level him up to level two. And I did see someone mention that um, you actually. There's different tiers, so level 1 is 500 gems, or, and then to get to level 2 is 500 gems, and then level 3 and 4 is 750. So if you don't have a lot of gems, you're like a little bit skeptical skeptical about the return on investment, maybe stop at the max of one of those tiers, like I did, like stop at the 500 gem before you pay 750 gems for the same amount of increase, which is one hour per day. It always goes up by one hour. So it's like... Or maybe stop at level 4 before it's a 1,000 gems per upgrade, because a 1,000 gems per upgrade makes the return on investment way longer. So if we do the same math as we did before, I know I said I didn't want to, but 1,000 gems was 7 days worth of upgrading, and for a level 2 builder, that's all it costs. So I just need to make up 7 days worth of upgrading, but it only gets 2 hours per day. So uh, it's 12, oh my god, 2 hours per day times 12 times 7. So that's uh, 24 times 7... Ooh, man, that's a lot. It's like 140, I don't know, way up there. So that's how many days it's going to take to re get the return on investment at level 2. So realistically, like, the amount of time it's going to take is all the same depending on what level you get him. And if I've completely lost you at this point, that's all right. I just think it's basically the seventh builder. And it's funny, my girlfriend in real life, Sakel Nader, used to predict she was like the seventh builder is going to come to the game for 10,000 gems and she saved up 10,000 gems like I did on my other account and she wasn't that far off seventh builder for 6,500 gems but I wouldn't classify him as seventh builder because at max level he's only eight hours so I would like and whatever there's 24 hours a day so he's like a third of a day so I would count classify him as the sixth 0.33 builder, not really the seventh builder, and this goblin builder, I ca count him as the negative one builder. He's just such a scam, and I've never actually used him. Um, so maybe we're close to seventh builder. Like I don't, I don't even know. But uh, let me know what you guys think about the seventh build, or not the seventh builder, the apprentice builder. Um, and also, uh, feel free to join this clan if, like I said, you're Town Hall 15 or whatever, and you want to um, help us out. And uh, hopefully we end up beating this clan in Clan Wars. And uh, I know there was other stuff in this new update. I sh should probably talk about it. Yeah, the walls became way cheaper. So it's 2 million less per wall. And uh, if we take a look at my progress here, I actually don't have that many walls left. It's kind of like Supercell is trying to force everybody, yeah, 75 left, to uh, get to the max town hall level, which for me might not be too far away now because all these upgrades have taken a significant time reduction. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure I was upgrading this giant bomb for 
this one right here. I was upgrading it for eight days, and then it dropped all the way down to two, three days. Um, so it was initially ten days, and I upgraded it for whatever seven days. And those seven days of it upgrading were just a complete waste, which is actually so sad. But uh, yeah, uh, that's it for the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.